<laughs> I was just about to say, this is real tumbleweed vibes. We done. Oh, welcome back, everybody. What up? Party is uh, finished making morning preparations, and they're just getting ready to begin uh, journeying along with the caravan mm. in hopes that they can flush out some bandits. All right. All right yeah. Man. Oh, that was a wonderful night's rest that I wasn't hammered. <laughs> Just going to bang my mace around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'll see you guys downstairs. <laughs> we are already downstairs at the bar. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was... Hand fisting his clamato juice. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like throw his hand in there and grab out the pieces of clam. Like, oh, these exactly. are bad. <laughs> There's just clam smeared all over the walls, somehow on the ceiling, all over his face. He feels refreshed. I feel like that. Oh, <laughs> Milton? Was, is Milton at the bar? Uh, Milton has not rolled up yet. Uh, uh, we should uh, probably head to the place then. I'm down there. <laughs> or you can start screaming. <laughs> we just assume that he that stays crumb. Smack, uh, he seems the type. <laughs> I smack uh, Tink on the back of the head. Just let's do this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, shortly after you guys finish up morning preparations, including uh, smearing fam juice everywhere, Milton does eventually arrive. Uh, it doesn't take him that much longer. He figured you would all get breakfast. Um, he almost runs into you as you're exiting the uh, saloon. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, goodness. Okay, uh, I suppose you were up and at them sooner than I thought you'd be. Uh, do you guys understand the role you'll be playing uh, as caravan guards? So you don't have any further questions for that? Come right, Jack, huh? Yes, that would actually be a, a great idea. Um, do any of you know how to ride a horse? Uh, I'll, I'll raise my hand up, go. And I just, I just want to be thrown on the back of it so I can just fucking lounge and fall asleep. It'll rock me to sleep. All right. <laughs> me ride horses. You ride horses? Yeah. I look down at my name. That makes sense. Oh, well, I, I have night training, so I, I, I assume I know how to ride a horse. <laughs> yes, that would actually be part of it, the, the generic piece of uh, knighthood. So you do know how to ride a horse. So Tink can ride behind you. Just tied to your saddlebag. <laughs> <laughs> Are they pulling the wagon and I'm he's, sitting yeah, he's on like the wagon? Side. Yeah, nice. uh, just like any traditional stagecoach, there's going to be the uh, seat where the riders are, uh, where the actual uh, 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 stagecoach driver is. Uh, you'll be able to sit up next to him. Cool. There's plenty of space up there for I you. I uh, lead the way, Milt, and I pat him on the butt. <laughs> Accidentally throws him five <laughs> feet he forward. Like, he like, rep- repositions his tie. Right, okay. Oh, he's getting kind of a little like, bit yeah. slightly yeah. farther yeah. away from you. Yes. Uh, so Clamato juice is dripping down my face. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just rubs the Clamato juice off his ass as well. Because <laughs> you know you didn't wash your hands. <laughs> I just wash my hands. Uh, so he leads you out to the, the, the warehouse. The coach itself uh, is already loaded. The uh, driver is up in the position. Um, Milton nods to him. All right, uh, so Eamon is going to ride up in uh, the coach with you. Um, yeah, you're going to want this. He just hands you a crossbow. Oh, I already have oh. a crossbow. Oh, all right, excellent. Does anyone not have one? Thank you, though, sir. <sighs> no, I got one, too. <laughs> I mean, I, I like staff, I like so. free stuff. <laughs> you proficient <laughs> in crossbows? Like crossbows. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so he'll hand... No, I'll, hand, I'll dual wield crossbows. Whoa. I'll go akimbo style. Well, he, he like he leads up to you and he goes to hand you the crossbow. And it's like I just, I just pick it up and I just put it like I'm I'm assuming they already put me up on the horse. Yeah, no, he gets I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, gonna rest it under my head and make it a makeshift crossbow pillow. I'm gonna and grab start on the back, back of down. Tink and throw him to the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! He, the force of it like punches a hole through the wall of it. Like, Poor Tink like, has got like major vertigo now on top of a hangover. He's just like getting bodied. You're yeah, you're up on the back of the stagecoach. Okay, I'm uh, assuming I'm unconscious at this point, so I'm just gonna sleep her off. Am I riding up front on like that front seat or on the horse? Good. 
Can you describe I, in the my, front? In my you... dumb head and not understanding, I jump on the horse and then I unclip my ponytail thing and let my ha- long flowing hair down. <laughs> okay. I, like, I, I would like you to describe to me what the front seat of a horse looks like. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I get on the horse where you were saying it's like a stagecoach where they're on, like, the bench up top. No, you're on an actual horse on a saddle. Yeah, and then there's behind the carriage it? behind yeah. it that's being pulled like, by following it. following along with it. Following right? along with it. Because normally people don't ride oh, on those horses. I they're just meant, on the like, stagecoach. we were pulling a wagon and they were, like, sitting on the No, bench. the horses have a driver, so the the way the, that works is they're they're tethered together. They have the. Oh no! I understood that. Instead of getting on the seat where he's sitting, I get on the horse. So oh. I think in <laughs> so my head it's at this point, Melanson. That he's just going to gesture. Because in any, in any thought I have, to all I know is to ride horses. That is like, you did ask us who knows how to ride horses. Yeah. Oh my in my head, you two, you, two, you two were Go. going on the carriage, and we were going to like ride behind it. No, I understood. Go. I just, as a guy who's Dude. only ridden horses, I think I get on the horse. Right. Got that, that horse has already got a job. It's not here yet. I got this. I know, <laughs> I know how to horse. I make him job better. Uh, could, could you ride this horse that has been provided for you? It's pretty bony, okay. though. <laughs> <laughs> I get down off that horse and give a little pat on the butt and then get on the other horse. Uh, okay, so while Guck's... There's a little Clamato juice on that horse. <laughs> <laughs> while Guck's figuring that out, I want to talk to the horse that is pulling the carriages because I have animal... Speak with animals. Okay. Uh, so, so you I cast wanna, Speak with Animals. <laughs> is that a spell? Yes. Oh, is it a spell or a class I ability? I guess it really doesn't matter either way. You're able to do that. Yeah. I, um, I'm going to ask the horse. If it, <laughs> I don't know. Um, if it remembers. Because the humans slash humanoids that were attacked before said they didn't notice anything. We don't know if the horses, horses did. had like a superior sense. Are you looking up how smart horses are? <laughs> I see if they know like actual language if they're just like, uh I imagine Ed the horse. Well, well, if well I, the thing is like if horses are smart enough to animal. do like certain things. I just want to know like how articulate articulate they would be. They would be. You know, she just looks at Willow and just does that little lip flap just <laughs> yeah. Right, but this would be essentially like translated into English. Like sup fool. What's up, fool? That's the that's a oh god, in do I need horse to for you. Dialogue with it. Do you not want to dialogue with it? No, nah, no, nah, you got <laughs> dialogue with it. it. No, it's fine if you if you wish to just kind of pose what questions you have, and we yeah. don't need to role play it out. It's like the Asian dude encouraged you. Hello, good dog. sir. Watch where you're going, fool. May I say how nice your hooves look today? Um, I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you dance. recall any experiences when the carriages you pulled before were attacked. Yes. Two legs, uh, driver man, uh, he sent us on, on, on trip. We go for many days. And then other two legs come. They smell like boat. Mm. They make lots of noise. Mm. They leave. Can you describe to me more what those, the boat men smell like? <laughs> or look like? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me more about the smell, please. <laughs> um... <laughs> move, move slow. Mm. Act quiet. Big, small. <laughs> he shakes his head back and forth and kind of like does the horse uh, estimation of like, you know, like you. <laughs> he fully lifts up his leg. We're all like, looking <laughs> over there, and he just lifts up his leg and just goes. <laughs> Horses uh, can do that, <laughs> but uh, okay. like you, say, say, same, same shape. Same. Okay, same same. 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 <laughs> Pointy ears. Remember. Ears, yes, like that. Long, long point. 
I love this. I feel like I'm an FBI profiler. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk funny, not like you. Hmm. Can can you draw me a sketch? <laughs> <laughs> No, Why all we see from Willow, she's also did just going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they take anything? Oh, did they take anything? Boxes. Mm. Um, Didn't they, one dude say that nothing was missing? For two yeah, days. but he was sketchy AF. Days. He was sketchy AF. Yeah. Fancy box. Fancy box. And he does have pointy ears, Mr. Mayor. True. Do we have, can I perceive, do we have anything fancy on board our wagon, whatever we're pulling. I feel like they're hiding the stuff coach. under the, the fish. <coughs> yes. 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 He looks a little fishy. He, he might be in on this. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look happy to be talking to anybody. Uh, <laughs> he looks, that's some serious side eye right there. <laughs> um, how, how many... Pointy boatmen were there. Horses can count. I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so he, just, he, he says three. Okay. Oh, I can fuck up three pointy boatmen. <laughs> <laughs> can we... I feel like to not be cheating this, I'm gonna... I would have told you guys that I'm going to talk to this horse, so tell me any other questions you would have had me ask, because I'm done as far as I can think of. Um, Ask the horse why he stopped. Why didn't he just keep going? Like the whole carriage yeah. stopped? Yeah, why would he oh, stop? Oh, yeah, could you, could you not outrun the attackers? Were they like... Tr- uh, driver not say go, we not go. Okay. Oh! Oh! Can I, can I perceive it's an that there's insurance anything? fraud. They're saying they got robbed, <laughs> but really they Whoa. staged it. This is, it's getting, too kind, this is getting real. <laughs> can I perceive if there's anything fancy or, or out of normal in the packaging of any of the boxes on the stagecoach? Um, before they all the, look the same. Well, before, yeah, before the door sealed up, you just kind of give a, a quick overview of it. Um, you look inside, the boxes themselves are pretty traditional packing boxes. Um, they're wooden, there's no cardboard yet, but um, so the wood boxes themselves, they seem to be pretty standard as, uh, as far as boxes uh, would go. None of them seem fancier than others, um, unless you reach in and start like grabbing them and shaking them. There's no other notable difference in the boxes themselves. Do you want to themselves. check through on the ship before we go? No. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna Just say. Smell each box and see like which one smells the least fishy. <laughs> it's in there. I'm gonna, from my unconsciousness, slightly just. I I started coming to a little bit here in this discussion. I'm just gonna say. You should you should ask it to give us a sim a a, a signal, whenever we're getting to where they were stopped last. That's actually a good idea. Yes. So, like, maybe if it could, like, start, like, slamming its hooves on the ground kind of rapidly or something, or just give us an audible signal. Just Break give us, a, four give times us, quickly give us the one three in a row. Time. Yeah, the... I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you use the rest of your ability to speak with the horse to establish a signal yeah. that the horse is going to be able to give you if it smells so or... Back. Other, I'm gonna see. If, if <laughs> do a barrel roll. Yeah, if it if it smells the Either the pointy men or knows if we're getting yes. to where they were stopped. That if we get to the location where they were te- stopped before, or if it senses in any way the men from before coming, one or the other, because they might set different locations. I'm not sure, but it's okay. definitely an inside job, y'all. I All set right. shotgun on the carriage, crossbow in lap, bolt ready. Okay, you are geared for war. We had if established you... this was like a day into the journey that they got stopped. Yeah, and it and takes like two half. days to get to the city and about like day, day and a half from the... To the tram station. 
for the air from that guy that we were talking to, he said like if there's like any sorts of bodies of water or anything. Right, I'm just like gonna have happen. my my shield kind of out by my side the whole time and just my hand on my sword while I'm riding. Okay, yeah. you're just gonna just be ready. ready. Yeah. Just for two days straight, he's like, oh yeah, I'm fucking there. There's nothing else going on up here. <laughs> go, 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 ready, go. Uh, kind of a, a Hulk vibe there. Me smash. All right. Don't um, attack any LP. Cook's AC is pretty high. He's going to be our front man. Do you, uh, do you guys have any other questions for the horse or any other questions for the people that are nearby? Milton, you want to come? No. Be an adventure of a lifetime. Milton hates us. <laughs> uh, mm. Did we even establish how much we're getting paid for this? Nobody asked. Oh my god. <laughs> well, captain should. We blame the captain always. Yes. <laughs> Does I know good with words. So. I mean, you could ask. You could just put it up yeah, there. Yeah, I'll ask Milton, I guess. Yo, Milt. Yes. What's, what's the cut? What's your, what's your vig? <laughs> What are the you know, there's always a What vig. are the wages for these warriors? Wage warriors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, money guck. Uh, as you guys didn't negotiate further, I presume that the 200 gold per person uh, bounty... I just, I come in, I just, loot, scoot, and boogie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was sufficient. I'm fine with that. I, I am more than happy oh, yeah, I'm with that. <laughs> Thank you, Milton. We're getting fleeced. <laughs> that was a conversation. Somebody give him a little hit on the head. In, <laughs> in the office. Uh, what are you getting out of this, Milton? Hmm? What? Oh, he has a job. <laughs> Guck is correct. I have a job. Good for you, Milton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Milton's out of. Like, this my is my job. Is that I could just spend time with the mayor. It's <laughs> a bootlicker. And, th- and things go back to normal. <laughs> Should we, before we head out, should we ask Milton about that old lady and the other fishing families in the town? I don't know, this I could guess be some corrupt thing. Here, I forgot to mention, but like, in theory, I would have told you guys about it the next morning. Like, at the bar, I got distracted by the Clamato juice. But... Somebody else with better words. Relay that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should, but I don't like Milton. <laughs> But <laughs> you're like milk. <laughs> I say that like really quietly to the group, and you just yell that so we hear. <laughs> and then I look over. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'll ask, I'll ask Milton. Um, I ran into an older woman from one of the fishing families last night, oh. and she didn't seem all too concerned with the attacks here. Do you know? Do Bad you, blood? Do you know any, like, yeah, are there any issues with the families? Uh, Is there that, anyone you guys are suspicious of? Any leads whatsoever? Uh, internally, I don't know what investigations are going on for that. But as far mm-hmm. as the woman, Gaiba, the fishmonger. Uh, Gaiba? Gaiba. Gaiba. The fishmonger. <laughs> so the fishmonger. Yeah. Mongrel, <laughs> no. Uh, grandma. But no, she's, she's harmless. I mean, she's not really in a position to... Uh, impact the the canning process, so I don't think she would have any interest in that. Mm-hmm. She makes her uh, she makes a relatively normal living just selling fish. So her family's still employed; they're still doing their thing. I don't know that there's enough hard feelings there to okay. warrant her doing anything. I want to keep. Let's do this. I th- we're saying this to him to make them not think we're suspicious of them, but really we are. I got my eye. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm good. I'm unconscious, so you're great. Yeah, <laughs> you're living life. You're living life. I'm gonna give a little yeah. As I <laughs> <laughs> Am I driving the coach or your shotgun? Your shotgun. Okay. Unless you want to try driving the horse. Nope. You nope. should be okay. chit chatting with the driver. Where do we have you stationed? Along the way. I'm riding a horse in the back. Okay. I, I assume because. I feel like I'm good with horses. No, I'm just going to sit next to him eerily with Do the you have animal way. handling of some yeah. sort? Yeah, I've got good animal handling. Give it a roll. Okay. The horse just kicks me. 24. That's great. So <laughs> The you... horse bows to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's one of the Limpazon stallions. It just it leans forward as you just... It stands up the... on two legs and walks towards you and then... <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but you and the, the horse are getting along just fine. Uh, it's a traditional saddle arrangement, so not really that difficult to ride. Um, and the horse itself is very manageable now What's for you. What's my horse's name? What's his name? <laughs> Dashel. Horse name. Dashel. I just look down and go, this little guck, and like give him a pat on the head. <laughs> Sorry, I'm running down the Ooh. horse's name. Because it may no come up again. Clamato juice on his hands. Because it's all <laughs> just like running through that horse's mane. Dash Dashel and Lil Guck. Lil Guck is your horse's name now, apparently. So which one is the one on the screen? That would be... That's got to be Dashel. Dashel the horse. It looks that, like that a Dashel. That was one of the ones pulling the carriage, so that's a... I didn't get his name. He's just got nice hooves. That's all I noticed. He's a fancy him. man, Ferdinand. <laughs> How about oh. that? Ferdinand the horse. Ferdinand, that's dope. Nice. And we're off into the sunset to the venture. With my long hair flow. <laughs> that's important. <laughs> we had a picture change. Very nice. Nice. We cruising. <clears throat> I do like how we have the wooden borders, too. <laughs> right? That does look good. Good job, Jay. Sorry. Thanks, it's Jay. It is a vibe. It is a good vibe. I actually, I love that. All right. So you guys make, uh, you guys are underway. Um, you do have an opportunity to speak with the stagecoach driver if you wish. Um, if you wish to just pass the day in silence, that's fine too. I will presume that you at least make some cursory right efforts at I communication. Too, he's up there. Or not. So while at some point while we're riding, when I start coming to... I would like to take that little piece of that detritus that I took off of that other broken down caravan and I'd like to use some of my magical tinkering. So anything, I believe it's up to like 10 feet would be able to hear. Uh, it, there's a message on it that is, it can, well, hold on, for this message it says it can stow a message no more than six seconds long. So I would like to stow a message just going, oh, I can't believe that they would actually keep so much valuable stuff on here if we've already been attacked. And I would just have it stowed inside of that little piece that maybe try to make it a lure to really try to bring them in, make them really think we got something valuable. So is this just like repeating on a loop? It, it, no, whenever, like, I could, I could, I could activate this. We're all rocking around be, like, Jesus, I could, shut up. No, I, I could just activate this, and then wherever it's activated, something within 10 feet would be able to hear this message that I have stowed inside of this just regular object, essentially. So, like, I could make it either illuminate mouth? a bright light. What's that? Is this magic mouth? No, this is magical tinkering. Oh. So I'm able to take a just like in order to, like a, a, a just a normal object of any kind doesn't have to be like a gear or anything like that. Just any object, a non magical object. Stow it with my magical ability, my magical power, and I can either make it like illuminate a bright light in a five foot radius. I can make a visual effect appear on the object surface. I can emit a non verbal sound. Uh, up to 10 feet, I can stow a message no more than six seconds long. And then, yeah, so I can just make that object have any one of those, and that effect just lasts as long as I'd like to be able, as, as I level up, I can stow that effect into more objects. But yeah, I can just have this object just have this magical ability on it. Interesting. Have the message be like, While this is happening, I want to trot up next to the stagecoach guy and be like, you like gamble? The horse looks up at you as you do that. <laughs> That's your horse. <laughs> <laughs> Lil, Lil Guck oh, that sad. guy definitely likes to gamble. It looks just like Puck. <laughs> Lil Guck likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Little Guck is lay, ready to lay it on the line. Uh... It, uh by the way, uh, just to set the scene, um, overall it's been a pretty relaxed journey. Uh, the stagecoach driver is showing no signs of additional stress or anything like that. Um, just seems like a day in the life situation for him. He's not in any way bothered or worried. Because um, he's in on it. What, uh, what stakes are we looking at? What are you looking for? Are we actually gambling with the horse? 
I'm a gambling addict. He's no, I'm gambling with the stage right guy. We are now. I'm gambling, <laughs> I'm gambling with the guy steering it. Very safe. What was, did, we, did I get a name for him? Did we get a name yet? You no, called it Little Guck. No, the horse was Little Guck. I'm saying so I'm riding. I'm next to the guy steering. Oh, I thought and you were trying you're to asking if he has a name. Yeah, do you think oh, I'm looking at my horse like you'd like to gamble? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here's some dice. <laughs> Just kick them real hard. We'll, go, we'll, we'll fill you on the details later. Um, Funny thing right. is, I'm pretty sure he was down to gamble with the horse. <laughs> I should have. I, 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 I was like, all right, let's see how this works. I don't know what I would bet on. The horse is sad now because he was he thought I was being because really the horse is also a gambling addict. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> His name is Lehman. Lehman. I like it. All right. Lehman like to gamble? You know, it'll, it'll pass the time if that's how you want to go. What do we want to play? I don't think I can roll dice while we're moving. <laughs> I'm bored, so I'm playing flute in the background because I forgot about I have flute proficiency. <laughs> Well, you you like you just play, like do, it's really like, this is a good time to use it. <laughs> do the like the the slide flute solo for my life will go on. <laughs> my heart you, will go on. You like to play punchies? <laughs> <laughs> you have to snap this poor man's arm in half. <laughs> he just he looks back to you like even the name makes me uncomfortable. What else do you have? <laughs> <laughs> You're actually gonna kill this man. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. We can hop off the carriage and play Arrow Run for a second. Yeah. Guck love Arrow Run. Yeah. I grab my crossbow. We're on a mission here. I shoot here. straight up in the air. Whoever stays closest to the center longest wins. Last person to run away gets the prize. I don't think we should stop, my friend. Sorry, that's fine. We're going to kill our driver. <laughs> think of the <laughs> gold. <laughs> I am thinking of the 200 gold we're going to get. But we get more the... gold. Yes. More gold means more money. Doug, how much gold did you lose last night? Five. Do you want that to happen again? No, but I win. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we could do rock, paper, scissor. I know none of this scissor. I hit you with rock? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were, I, 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 I really agree. thought you were going to say you didn't know what this paper was. <laughs> Let do. All right, let do. How's this going to work? All right, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, paper, scissors, shoot. Two out of three. All right, you went to spawn. <laughs> like real life. Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn. Guck get fucked up. <laughs> what, what did we bet on that? <laughs> gold. How much gold? I just, I tossed him another five gold. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gug, what have I'm you not learned? the brightest, okay? <laughs> that he's one gamble stage. closer to his big win. I am not good at gambling, but goddamn, do I love it. <laughs> I look over at Lehman and I hold out my alms box and say, care to share your uh, winnings with some of the less fortunate? <laughs> it's me. I'm less fortunate. Tell me, tell me that you're getting charity for the church, but you're not actually giving it to <laughs> 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 That doesn't align with your character. <laughs> he thinks about it for a minute and taps, taps the saddle horn. Uh, yeah, throws a gold in the box. Thank you. I love I haven't even. split any of this into silver. I'm just giving away gold. <laughs> All right, I trot back to so being depressed. In the I'm also again. <laughs> I'm also still inside of the stagecoach, like that back stow area where I was thrown so abruptly into. I would like to look around and see if there's any boxes that look like they're a little bit more not out of the ordinary, but are maybe a bit more unique comparatively to the <laughs> others. So that way, I might be able to stow myself inside of one of these crates to hopefully get taken. The driver that doesn't know we're like searching through everything is just hearing clanging around and like things smashing <laughs> He's open. He's pretty excited. He just like, wants to <laughs> <laughs> uh, So the stagecoach arrangement, you weren't thrown into the actual like cargo portion of it. The Most carriages would actually have a, an upper area where you would be able to store like luggage and things like that. So you were there, but you can 
I would like to go into the area where we're actually stowing all the cargo and see if I might be able to. Remember, remember, that, remember that. Remember that penalty we talked about for <laughs> uh, extreme intoxication. <laughs> that was for anything involving like things of the mind, correct? Or, or dexterity. Or balancing. Yeah, oh yeah. That's what he said. You are on but, a moving cart. <laughs> no. You fall out of the back. So you're you're in the moving cart and you're fine. The cart itself is stable enough that it's not an issue. But in order to go ahead and get into the cargo area. You're gonna have to climb through a window, which means you're going to have to balance through the window. I'm feeling pretty dexterous today. <laughs> wow. he is an old so this is disadvantage. It is. Okay, that please look very play good. the clown music. <laughs> that yeah, is give us going some of that. Give <laughs> <laughs> some ragtime music on this one. So do I get any like dex modifier onto this though? Yeah. All right, that's gonna be five. Ooh. Uh, roll me a strength check. Eight. Okay. How much do you weigh? Uh, so if I'm three foot, let me look up an average weight. Yeah, write down your no. weight. <laughs> I didn't get the weight. I guess 225. Uh, but it's still six feet tall. Average so weight. Pounds is that luscious hair. True. You can't get rid of that hair. So the average gnomes are between three and four feet, and average about forty pounds. I'll say about forty pounds. So you try and slide your way through the window, acting all slick, like uh, the world pitches and turns around you because of uh, your your hungover state, um, and you pitch forward. Um, and only get one arm hooked in there in, in the window before uh, you cascade forward by it. You grab on just well enough uh, to begin having to run against the wheel so you don't fall off the wagon entirely. Cool. I like to think I'm just watching this happen, trotting alongside. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, you can either try and uh, escape the wagon or try climbing it again, but you have one chance and I one I think I'm going to interrupt him and just... Because I think he's falling out, just grab him and put him back on top of the search <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, pretty sure you could probably carry 45 pounds by yourself. Yeah, I think so. so. <laughs> uh, unless uh, the you... tossing and tumbling made me feel a little nauseous, so I'm just gonna lay down for a little bit at the top <laughs> of the stagecoach. <laughs> uh, so the rest of the day goes by pretty uneventfully, unless you attempt to going back in. Uh, there's <laughs> I don't not, think that's no. <laughs> there's not really any other major complications uh, for the day. Um, you you guys just go ahead and get ready to break camp. Um, and uh, prepare to uh, rest for the evening. Do you guys want to set watches? Do you want to prepare yourself? You're no longer hungover. It was not a great day, but you were able to grab some Z's here and there. You're mostly fine. Well, he needs a little cat nap. <laughs> we'll do two-hour watches each, and I'll take the first one, and we'll just rotate out. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, do we know how far? So that guy who told us that it's probably about like a day, day and a half out from, uh, for that area that sounds like it could potentially be like towards like a body ish of water that matched our description. Do we know like exactly maybe how far away we are from reaching that that area? Because we we made a note to like pinpoint on our own little maps like where this guy's area he was talking about where it might be. Do we know how close we're getting? I just want to point out, Draken Smythe, it's a pretty evil name. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> dude. I'm going to put an underline <clears throat> on that one. So you would be, uh, you realize that you'd be able to go ahead and if you made good time, you didn't uh, dawdle especially long, you'd be able to make your way out to where on the map the body of water should be, um, and there and back, but you would get no rest at all. Tonight. And if you are wrong, uh, not only would you not discover the potential ambushers, but you would also have to continue the next day without having rested no. at all. Guck need beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a strategic option, and it's not one that all of you have to take either. You no, could choose a pair of No, I, I'll, I'll stick with the group. 
So it's really a, it's their call. Guck is he's falling asleep. No, I'm taking he's first some watch. Honks. Oh, first watch. Okay. So I'm lighting up a fire with my tinder box and cooking a ration while they're taking their first two hours for Willow, and then we're just gonna go two hours each and transfer. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. And the horses haven't put out any I, signals yet, have they? Okay, I just checked myself because I thought this was the thing, but I couldn't remember. But like elves don't sleep; they meditate for four hours only. So like, you can get the full benefit. You can, of you the can essentially rest. just skip first and second watch, and then you're ready to go for the other two. Yeah. Yeah. So she's gonna meditate, and I'll so I'm just thinking. The, mm-hmm. Well, we'll go. <laughs> we'll go over there. Since he probably needs a little more rest. <laughs> We'll let him sleep through the night. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So four watches. Everybody go ahead and roll per, uh, perceptions for me. You said for perception? Six. Yes. Oh. That is a six. Ooh. 21. Oh, uh, that is going to be 21. 21. 21. I rolled well. I rolled a crap. Five. Okay, no. <laughs> we both <laughs> the only other two people who had to keep watch for all like shit. <laughs> well, I so, can keep watch for like half of it. I know, but we have to keep the first two watches. I'm a very that. light sleeper. All right. So what is our That's what true. is our watch We're range right here? So I'm taking the first one, then I'm passing it off to Amond, and then once she's done meditating, uh, Willow's taking over. So what'd you get? Six. I got five. Twenty-one. 21. Or 23? He's sleeping. We both got 21. Okay. So the two of you got 21. Okay. Ooh, it's called reverie. That is ultimate irony, though, isn't it? The the only people who are actually awake and looking out just can't see shit. (laughs) They're just so, like, exhausted. I do have slight dark vision, but that's about it. I got a crossbow. (laughs) As do I. So I gotta look up something. Uh, question for you: How many hit points do you have? A lot. Oh, Jesus. Oh. What do you mean a lot? A lot. More than you. Really? Yeah. How much? How many hit points do you have? Eleven. I have fourteen. I have fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll eat shit. I was like, "There's no way you have." I have a lot of AC and hit points right now. It's like I the only thing I got going AC for me. More AC than you do. 18. My AC is actually surprisingly high, though, to 16. <laughs> Mine's 18. I'm, I'm front line. You're this. a tanky boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, remember, you told me I should, like, heal him or something. Mm. I wasn't going to heal him. He did it to himself. You got to remember, my guy only heals people that didn't do it to themselves. He's, you know, you got to earn that healing. Mm. damage from something. I know. I will hop on that with you eventually. I got Brando to download it too. At least he said he was going to. It's been so much fun. It's such a good time. We need more help front fighters though. Yeah. Honestly, I just need to start playing DK. I just don't want to be cheap. That's the main reason I, I don't want to so play. It's so annoying. They need to fix that. They're so broken. Anyway. So, how many hit points is the guy 14. Play? Eleven. Eleven. Ten? My hit points? Oh, ten. Hit point. Ten. All right. So, Guck, you settle into sleep after your watch. Nothing major happened. You didn't spot or hear anything. Oh, fuck. Beautiful dreams. You slept on duty? <laughs> no, after my watch. Will, Amen, you're you fine. are asleep. Oh, hey man. <laughs> you fell asleep on your watch? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at keeping it We gave you wagon. one job. I'm stuck in the wagon all day with him. <laughs> he was recording messages and shit. <laughs> he just kept playing the same thing over and over again. All right. Tink, I'm going to need you to roll a percentile die for me. What is a percentile? D10 and the D10. There you have to, so the percentile is going to be the two D10s. One of them is going to be the 10 spot. Okay. The other one is going to be the 1s. So 
uh, for this in order to roll both of them. That would be 94. Can I roll two at the same time and choose whatever order I want? So 42? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, Tank, what do we got? Sweet. For <laughs> Am I rolling it too? Yep. Okay. You're the only one rolling it. it. No, it wasn't for me. I was just curious. Yeah. Okay. So that is going to be a 33. It's not high enough. <clears throat> to wake yeah. unexpectedly. You're dead. No. <laughs> First session over. Uh, but Willow, um, due to the fact that you still maintain most of your faculties while you're in the trance, um, you hear someone has cast a spell nearby. Mm. Uh, did I, when, you, did when I? you open your eyes and begin looking around, you spot Eamon, uh fifthly dozing on the other side of the room. <laughs> I'd like to bonk him with my staff really quickly before. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Thank you. Um, but also with your twenty-one, um, you hear you never start a, a man on watch. <laughs> a couple furtive footfalls that pause as they see you begin moving. Oh, yeah. Wait, I I feel like hold on. Horse During any sleeping. of this, have the horses done anything? Just Annie sees them? Just Annie sees them. Um, at this point, Willow. the horse uh, gives the predetermined stomping noise. He breaks out his cast nets and begins to dance. <laughs> 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 He's doing the La Bamba. Uh, okay, hold on, I'm thinking. What do you see with your elvish eyes, Willow? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tink and I are still sleeping right now. Okay, I playing an elf is so new to me. I've like my mind, the gears are just turning and turning. I have Mask of the Wild. That's one of my benefits, where I can hide when I'm lightly obscured. So I'm trying to think if there's a way I can kind of like sneak around so I couldn't be seen, like behind the wheels under the carriage or something, to try to get a get a glimpse of the people whose footsteps I'm hearing. Roll a reflex save. Dive into cover, and then also. Since I rolled a 21 on perception, and since she was hitting him with her staff, and I hurt, and like there's horses that are starting to jumble around it all, am I hearing, can, with my perception at a 21, do I hear any of this, and does yes. any of this racket wake so me up? So the initial, the real initial was to see if you kind of had enough awareness to hear the casting of the spell. Okay. But now that the camp noises start getting more and more obvious and robust, you are able to hear that. Okay. I'm assuming I'm snoring. <laughs> you said you had a five, right? That's six. Six, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm, if I'm still on top of the stagecoach, and it's, it's, I'm assuming it's darker out, right? It's, it it's, is. I'm going to try dark. to keep a low profile to the top of the stagecoach and try to see if I can try to like keep a lookout for anything now that I notice that the signals are going off. There. So you're going to try and like do a quick dip in behind the wheels what did you I roll? don't think it went well. I got a six. And a six. <laughs> I fell off something. <laughs> <laughs> Just tripped him off. Right <laughs> I was more going for like how quickly you're able to react, like to your plan in your head, and be like, "All right, I, wait, I can. I, there's a thing I can do." Mm -hmm. um, it takes you a little bit to really like ferment the wheels of what you wanted to do. So you're not able to swiftly jump behind the wheels, um, but you you do wind up trying to hide in behind them. Um, but you are observed more, uh, for, more firmly by the noisemakers, um, but you are awake. Uh, you want to roll a perception for me? Nat 20. Nat 20. Uh, so you, you are a gnome. You have low light vision or dark vision? I don't think I have either, actually. I'm sure. Well, you, which race of gnome did you go with? Because like the stone ones or whatever, don't they have dark vision? This is part of the issue of not having the character sheet because I'm trying to look around for exactly what kind of gnome that I was. I am a uh, forest. I don't think it's rock. Yeah, my bad. I couldn't get the Am I a rock looking. gnome? Rock. All right, so I'm not a rock gnome. We got... I am a forest gnome. So... No, I do not have any sort of dark or low light vision or anything. I was unaware that they could trade it away. Anyway, so um, you're not able to get grand details, but you do note um, 
a vaguely human head shape, uh, about 30 feet from camp. Actually, no, I do have dark vision. Never mind. Because just general gnomes, I was looking at the specific gnomes for forest, rock, and all that. General gnome does have d uh, dark vision. So yeah, I can see d in dim light within 60 feet of me. Hmm. Okay, uh, so it actually is close enough. So with your enhanced vision, with the fact that you can see in darkness, um, you see a humanoid shape of a vaguely aquatic looking humanoid um, who scrapped some uh, sagebrush as they're trying to sneak up to the camp, um, dressed in a, a slightly flowing robe. Um, they seem to have a staff on them and a few other, th other accoutrements that you might l lend more credence to your idea that it was a wizard, um, but they've kind of paused because they realize that they've been seen. During this, all you hear is me snoring, but it's, it sounds like Mr. Krantz, like, money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I am going to use one of my infusions for my enhanced weapon on my light crossbow. And so it's just going to give it a plus one to to all attacks I'm gonna make with it. I don't know if I can also imbue it with my repeating shot, because I don't know how many infusions I can have active at one time. But That's dependent on level. I don't remember yeah. offhand. I think you may only have one right now. Artificial infusions, and then I'll, I'll discover that later. But I guess I'm just going to, if he's still sleeping, I'm gonna make the executive decision to Oh! Who goes there? <laughs> Does this wake me up? That feels reasonable. That was, that was a very loud noise. It was like Kermit the Frog. And I'm just going to have my down. crossbow pointed right at this guy that I see walking up here. So I'm assuming he can see me aiming a crossbow right at him. So I'm going to see what his reaction is going to be. See if he's going to try to run, stay still, or engage. Might actually be a good time to... Yeah. I, mean, I think this might be actually a good time to cut it. Yeah. As the uh, creature in front of you begins to make a decision on how he's going to react to your overt threat. I it was, like a, it was a who goes there. Yes, but that is not <laughs> obvious. Like... It's, it's not very friendly with the crossbow pointed. <laughs> <laughs> you felt threatened, so you threatened larger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Throw your I coat threatened, out like I the bear. big. Thank you so much, guys, for following. This is the New Scoop Project. You can follow us on all social media. We will be uh, taking a week off, and we will be back in two weeks from today to follow up on the next uh, portion of this adventure. We look forward to seeing you guys again, and thank you again for following. Mm -hmm.